campers, it's me Kieran and today we're going to talk about a book that has been requested by numerous people, has been a book that I've been eagerly anticipated and I think has been regarded as one of like the modern classics and that is Blindness by Portuguese writer José Saramago who won the Nobel Prize, who was pretty unknown as a writer and didn't really come to prominence until his late 60s. Therefore, you still have time, people. Like, just because you're in your 20s and you're in your 30s, you don't think like everything's over. Like, if Sarah Bargo and many other people have done it, so could you. Don't panic. What a cheery way to start a book review, of, of which I'm a bit surprised about Blindness because th this this surely cannot be his best. Oh, you know, we're just gonna rip that band-aid off. Um, Really? This is the book? Like, if you've read any more Saramago, can can you please give me another recommendation? Surely this isn't. Like, I'm not, I'm not going wild here, am I? Let's talk about the pros of this copy of Blindness. The translator, who actually died in its creation, uh, Giovanni Pontiero, I, has done a spectacular job. This, this reads almost breathlessly that there is just a continuation non sequitur after non sequitur uh, but doesn't feel clunky in any way shape or form it's very fluid in how it's written are there other translations of this book i don't know but if you can find the pontiero one i think you'll be fine another pro i would give to this is, is actually the synopsis on the back i don't do this normally just read off the blue but if you want to know what blindness is about this is this is like spot on. A driver waited at the traffic lights goes blind. An ophthalmologist tries to diagnose his distinctive white blindness, but is affected before he can read the textbooks. It becomes a contagion, spreaded throughout the city. Trying to stem the epidemic, the authorities herd the afflicted into a mental asylum, where the wards are terrorised by blind thugs. And when a fire destroys an asylum, the inmates bust forth, and the last links within a supposedly civilised society are snapped. No food, no water, no government, no order, this is not anarchy, this is blindness. I mean, if you just want to like, that is, what a fantastic synopsis because that is the first 100 pages, people. <laughs> oh, jeez, this was not great. I get what Sarah Margo is doing. Everyone goes blind and everyone descends into chaos and horrendous things happen. People don't really know what to do with people can't see, therefore they don't really know what is ahead of them. And as the reader, you don't know what is ahead of them. Seeing the blind people out on the streets fighting each other, seeing them eat rotten meat, the piles of dead blind people as they're trying to clamber over a fence is... It's a bit disturbing. It's really disturbing. It's akin to Cormac McCarthy's the road. Although the road is post-apocalyptic and blindness is more a dystopian, both could be read simultaneously. And if you enjoyed the road, I think you would like this because I've read the road. What? No thanks. I'm full. Don't need any more beads of tarpaulin into my life, bud. Surely it's not as best. I mean, Saruman even says that there's no such thing as blindness, only blind people. And the people who can see, the people who can help everyone who's gone blind, turn a blind eye. It's very on the nose, this book. I'm really sorry. There's, there's, a, there's a disappointment to be had. And sadly, I didn't see it coming. A good rule of thumb, I like to say, is that if the book is really good and it's part of a series, how many people are continuing on with the series? Blindness is the first of a duology, if you want to call it that, with the second book being seeing. I don't know anyone who's read Seeing. Why is no one reading Seeing? Why Why don't I? Why? Ah, we've offended one of Portuguese famous writers. Let's go on to another one. I really like the poetry of Maya Angelou, but the memoir, I know why the cage bird sings, I think is mediocre at best. And how many people do you know have continued on with that series that is seven books long? I think there's a reason why people stop at the first one. Mate, <laughs> I'm so... I don't want to believe. Not campers, I don't think I've ever done this before, but this is a cry for help. I need to read a good Saramago. Please let me know some good Saramago, because we're not... No, we've... We've... No. I'm sorry. I don't care if this is your favourite book. I don't care if this is 
called the best. It's not. They're lying to you. Stop it. I need a good Sarah, but please look me in the eyes. Look me in my eyes. Please, please just give me a good Sarah Margo book. That's all I want. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing more. We don't need to review this. We've read the synopsis. You know what's going to happen. It's, it, it, it does what it says. This is Ron Seal. It does what it says on the tin. Why, why? I don't, I, I'm really lost. I'm so sorry. I know you expected more from me, but like, you're not getting it. <laughs> what? What? I know. No. No.